Welcome back to Total Party Kill UK Adventures Pyramid. I am your Dungeon Master, Tony Sindelar. We are continuing our adventures in the Sunless Citadel. Our adventures, are we join them in the midst of a fight with a band of hobgoblins looking to settle a score. Our adventures have successfully taken out Dern, the hobgoblin leader, but the pack of hobgoblins still poses a threat. We left things off mid-battle as El Scorcho robbed Dern's corpse of his armor and hurled a series of magic rocks at our advent- uh, not at our adventurers, at our opponents. We'll find out how that e- ends very soon, but first, let's remind ourselves of who our players and characters are. First off, it's Adina Hurley. Hi, Adina. Oh no, I was just thinking of an intro. <laughs> <laughs> That's so the you're intro. ready. <laughs> intro, Olena. Over and out. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> um, followed by Liz Miles. Hi, Liz. Hi. I'm. Do I say I'm playing the thing? Yeah, yeah you do I'm that just... right now. That's, um, the, that's what we're just, looking for. Um, I'm playing Velo, uh, a human warlock, and she is the fire safety officer for the party. At least part of that sentence is true. Let's just say fire officer. Uh, also here, <laughs> it's James Thompson, creator of Dice by Peacock. Your favorite dice app created by Peacock. I'm Nox, and I'm playing James, who's a human programmer. Yes. (laughs) (laughs) Also here, it's another Hurley. It's Mike Hurley. Hi. Hello. Uh, I would like to let you know that Bob Goblin merchandise is available in the lobby. The Bobby lobby. (laughs) The Hobby Bobby Lobby Goblin. I should have negotiated for a percentage of that. (laughs) Also, also here is Jason Snell. Hey, Tony, is this the part where we introduce our characters? <laughs> yes. Oh, okay. Well, uh, I'm Furion, the elf, and uh, he's a wizard, and he's laying in a pool of his own blood right now. So, Wait, as you I, do. Yep. Was I being mocked there? Because it was just because Adina was like, "Are we meant to do like a short, sharp intro now, like three words?" <laughs> I, I, it was a legitimate question. It's all fine. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Everything goes. And finally. <laughs> Tiff Arment is here. Tiff, it is literally your turn. Remind us who you're playing. Uh, El Scorcho, the tiefling druid, and I'm adorned in some sweet new armor. <laughs> Indeed oh. you oh. are. With a fistful of magic stones ready to go. And we, uh, I don't know why, but I paused us mid-turn, which I shouldn't do because it's confusing. It is literally the middle of your turn. You have stolen some armor yes. and are firing off some magic stones. Can you remind me... Uh, there's four goblins, four, sorry, hobgoblins. Yep. There's four hobgoblins menacing your group. Uh, two of them are kind of in melee range. One of them is in uh, fighting with Max. One of them is, uh, I don't know, fighting with, stabbing, stabbing Velo. <laughs> and then two of them are hanging back, peppering you all with arrows. Which three of those four did you want to hit with your magic stones, potentially? Well, originally I was targeting Bob the hobgoblin, but uh, the bobgoblin, but I don't know, <laughs> I kind of want to leave him alive. Mm. Maybe we can uh, be friends. Oh, but he had ambitions earlier, yeah. didn't he? Yeah. I like that your only criteria mm. for is could this person be our friend is they have a name. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> That's all you need. All you need is a name. I mean, it's possible Nev- all of the hobgoblins have names. You just don't know them. That's so. why you don't name, you know, yeah. random animals. Never name your goblins. That's no, what never say. name your goblins. So those those three goblins are <laughs> Snob, Blob, slope. and Ray. <laughs> oh, no. This is a slippery slope. You can't name the goblins. Just don't. It's too bad. Okay. I did it. Yeah, hold on, let me edit their tokens before they get killed. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> commitment! Snob goblin, gob goblin, uh, and no, Ray just, goblin. Uh, J- Jason just said snob. Snob glob and Ray. <laughs> snob hop goblin, <laughs> glob hop <laughs> goblin, and the Ray snob. hop goblin. So, what are their hobbies? <laughs> well, um, like like a snob goblin. <laughs> well, they, they're doing. They, they uh, signed on with Dern for college credit. Uh, they're working their way through college. They're trying to get an associate's degree in accounting. All three of them, they're part of it. <laughs> together. Do they, do they, well, they, do like a, they do a when goblin in a trench born. coat light thing and they all go together. It's a study. One degree. They're, they're just, they're classmates. Um, and, uh, you know, each of them, they're really hoping to uh, be business owners someday. They don't really respect Dern, but, you know, it's what they're, they got to make it through the end of they the semester. The mm-hmm. Snob they don't Globum respect Dern, Dern's day, but they're sticking yeah. around. Well, I mean, they, you know, they have not really had a lot of time to process the head of Creeve. It's been seconds. Um, <laughs> so, <laughs> also, he was really just fresh on the ground, and then someone stole his armor uh, and is throwing rocks someone. at them. It's unclear 
they have not covered in class how you're supposed to react to that. Um, so, you know, and in fact, the rocks have not even really landed yet. They're nope. think they're standing looking at each other being like, this was not covered uh, as those magic rocks <laughs> get closer and closer to their head. Yeah, and I'm then still, we uh, have a flashback in black and white as we uh, see each of them being born, going to school, failing at <laughs> Little League. <laughs> um, just, I want you all to each deeply imprint onto one of these three hobgoblins. Bub. Be it, yep. be it snob, glob, turn them to or ash. Ray. Anyway, Tiff, I've interrupted your turn. A ridiculous <laughs> <amount>. <laughs> Still, it's fine. I'm, those rocks. I'm still just sh- I'm shaking yeah. those rocks in my hand. I, I haven't thrown would, them yet. Who would you like to target first? I'm gonna go. Uh, I'm gonna go with my first instinct, which would be uh, Snob, Glob, and Ray. All right. So Snob first. They're newly named, so I feel uh, better. And is this target armor class, or does this do you, do they roll something? Uh, it says uh, a plus four. Hit so it, DC. you you are rolling it. I'm rolling. I'm yeah. Rolling. Now you know hobgoblins are tough. Your your number to beat is eighteen. Oh. How can yeah. I beat an 18 with a 1d6? No, no, you roll a d20 uh, to hit. Yes. Oh, okay. Cool. That's how. Please! <laughs> uh, which way is the dot? I don't know if it's a 6 or a 9. It hmm. doesn't hit either Let's way. It <laughs> doesn't hit either way. <laughs> <laughs> Shoot. <laughs> Sorry. All right, so you miss Snob. Uh, another rock comes hurtling at Glob. So roll that one. 20! That Take hits. Take that, Glob. <laughs> That's Glob. And then your third and final rock is hurtling toward Ray. 18. Uh, 18 total. That that hits, right? So, uh, Snob, Ducks, uh, ha- uh, Glob, and Ray are confused by Snob, Ducks, and get hit in the side of the head with rocks. Roll me damage for uh, Snob. Or, sorry, Snob, Glob. <laughs> Jason, we're gonna have Tell to talk me, it about your... like you've lost your mind. <laughs> Stop, blah blah blah, hobgoblin, blah blah blah, the blob goblin. Uh, I was really looking forward to Bob the hobgoblin being dead, and so I wouldn't have to say that anymore. And then somehow my world got more complicated yeah, so, because Jason chose Stiles. to put those names on them. I'm just, I'm just saying, and it wasn't you any know, of the party. I try to help. I try to be a nice, friendly person, and mm-hmm. I pay for it each and every time. So since Tiff rolled a 20 to attack Glob, does that mean she gets to uh, roll a double yeah. dice? Yeah, so uh, when what you roll now? a... Tw- so what would the a magic stone normally do? Um, I'm just going to move them side by side so I can see their names. Uh, uh, one D6 plus two. So uh, Glob is going to take two D6 plus two damage, which is yeah. bad for Glob. Okay. Uh, we have a, a six. Ha <laughs> ha! So that's eight. Good start. And uh, one. So that seven plus two is nine damage. Hey. All right. That 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 uh that that stone goes through his head, <laughs> <laughs> and Glob tumbles to the right ground with, the all, with with just a, a burning stone shaped oh hole in his God. head. Oh my Glob. Oh my Glob. <laughs> uh, roll us damage for Ray Hobgoblin. Ray will only take uh I think it's one d six plus two, right? Four plus two is six. That is enough. He also, though yes! less spectacularly, tumbles to the ground. I feel Snob- so powerful in my new armor. <laughs> yes. Uh, also, technically, your armor class is probably higher because this armor is probably better than whatever you had. Oh, uh, yes. Snob is crestfallen, is unsure how he's going to finish his group project now that two teammates <laughs> are dead. Isn't that always the way with group projects? <laughs> two of them always die. Yeah, two of them always die, and then you're stuck doing it by yourself. Uh, isn't wow, this a I should have gone to a better college. Yeah, and two of us are going to die. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, isn't adventuring the ultimate group project? Um, speaking of dying, Furion, you're not dead. You're just really, really coated in your own blood. Yeah, but doing great. And uh, Furion is going to, uh, from his position at the ground, actually, he is going to hmm. look over and see that there is, there are, well, there's two hobgoblins remaining. There's only two hobgoblins remaining. They're pretty badly hurt. L has really... Uh, probably been the i mean l you have literally brought people back from the death and then murdered more people which i guess is conserving a balance um so, <laughs> and stripped one of them of their armor yeah and sold them armor proof. Real busy. I, later today you'll give someone armor i don't know um, so pay it forward so, uh i'm yeah. uh furian is uh looking at snob hobgoblin because he's one of the ones who shot him Yep, and he uh, ma- mo- makes a little motion from the ground, and the sound of a dolorous bell fears the air around him for a moment. He must succeed on a wisdom saving throw, DC thirteen. Are are hobgoblins afraid of bells? 
It's a dolorous Jason, bell. They're afraid that's how they to make the noise again. Is this <laughs> quite a quiet bell? Because you know, it's a bell just, only he can hear. Okay. Oh well, thank goodness. That's we fine. know how goblins are not the wisest creatures. Uh, he rolled a ten, which does not succeed. He takes eight necrotic damage. Uh, what happens at, when somebody is killed by the sound of a bell? Uh, <laughs> no. I think he puts his hands by the side of his head and goes, ah! and then just falls and then to the ground explodes. and he's dead. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I'll never graduate. <laughs> um, nobody. Now, Furion's laying on the ground. Nobody even knows that he was involved with that. It just literally, the guy just started to scream and died. But, yeah. you know, what, Ly- lying in a puddle of his own blood, Furion gestures and then licks his finger and yep. turns a page in his book. Yeah. <laughs> so, so that's what that looks like, he says yeah. to himself. Mm-hmm. Yes. That is what it's like to kill someone from inside their head with the sound of a bell. A bell, yep. <laughs> um, for who the bell tolls? Oh, yeah. Oh. Tolls for snob. Sorry, I'm sorry. I'm so yeah. sorry. All right. My uh, re- increasingly regretted that I've named my hobgoblins. Only one remains. Oh, and it's, who is it, Tony? Who is it? It is Bob Goblin the Hobgoblin. Will <laughs> the fact that he has the most charismatic name save him? Unlikely. Um, <laughs> let us find out. In order for Bob Goblin the Hobgoblin to even get a turn, he needs to survive Knox and Velo's turns, which seems unlikely. And the spider. And you should reason with him. Be like, Can I call you Bobby? No? Is that good? <laughs> um, Furion also stood up, by the way. He's now. No, okay. Now he stood up. Uh, Nox, still in a pool of your own blood, though there's some Furion blood in there, too. Okay. I am going to step forward I'm gonna, in uh, front of. Furion reaches his hand out and pulls him up as a thank you. Yes. Okay. Um, Teamwork. In front of Bob Goblin, the Hobgoblin. And I am going to cast Calm Emotions oh. on him. <laughs> Are we trying to uh, save this guy? Which will make him uh, not hostile towards us. There's <gasps> a new member of the party! Yeah. He, can, he, he, will, he will be uh, indifferent about us, but that's good. Can I murder uh, him anyway? Well, we might do that. We'll see. Um, so he has to do a charisma saving throw 13. Uh, now I just, I'm, I'm reading the spell because this is the thing I do as a dungeon master. Uh, yeah. I believe that this targets many people, not just Bob Goblin, the Hobgoblin. You think it's going to make everybody in the room? Uh, I'm reading each humanoid in a 20 foot radius sphere. Don't make me indifferent to you. No, I can't I'm do that. I'm fine being indifferent. Oh, that's okay. The Spider King Guild still get him. <laughs> uh, <that's... laughs> well, you see, I had this wonderful plan that he was going to live and... There could be. I mean, what if, if you call... You're going to call him... Every, you could potentially call him everyone's emotions. Yeah, but... The downside is you might call him only your team's emotions and not Bob Goblin the Hobgoblin. <laughs> and so you'll be very serene as he goes around slitting each of your throats one by one. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I've I've thought deeply about this, and guys, I'm guys, Scott, your adventures. You want to die in your sleep as a hobgoblin murders you? <laughs> Not just any hobgoblin. Um, hobgoblin. Fine, hobgoblin. Uh, I'm just gonna charm him then. Oh, you don't want to? You don't want to call him? I'm like surprised that. you didn't go for charm. I, That's I, like your I, I signature thought move. I was gonna, you know, like everybody just chill, kind of calm everything down. But I'm just gonna charm him. Um, so wisdom throw thirteen. Let me just remind myself what charm does. Um, he's going to make he's, plan he's, for again. Bob. It's the person you would take out. You would go out to drinks with after work on a Thursday. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the Thursday Which is important that's what it because says no one's going to give D&D. up a Friday. Yeah, yeah. sure. All right. So here's my question, and I'm I'm opening this up to discussion of the group. Do you think that Bob Goblin the Hobgoblin is resistant to being charmed because you've just murdered all of his friends or is he susceptible to being charmed because i, I, I think he's you've murdered all he's friends. <laughs> I, I think he's, he's definitely also had, susceptible or is it a wash? he's already you thought know? about it right because we yeah, yeah. Elena had, planted his uh, that message in his head and he yeah, gave some that, thought. that little seed has been growing and, and who's he gonna thinking, be in charge of now they're all dead yeah, yeah. well maybe Nox, these dudes that are Nox, let me just, right Nox, do you want to say a few words before you cast charm Hmm. No. All right, then. It's no disadvantage or advantage. You're a great bard. Yeah. No words. <laughs> no yeah. words. I, he, he went to the mime school of barding. <laughs> so. That was not the college I picked. Mm. All right. So uh, I'm making a wisdom save. Yeah. Nine. 
he fails. All right. So he's now in our party and will come with us well, for the rest of the adventure. He is your co-worker. Yeah, yeah we're, we're co-workers. that's what we are. We're co-workers. Yeah. Yeah, also, I mean, we had- just, to, just to remind you, because we've, we've had a lot of charming in this adventure, because you're charming people, um, that uh, there are the potential uh, thing about charm. How long does charm last? An hour. Five and years. what happens after that hour? They remember they everything. They like us even more. And they specifically remember that we charm them. That you charm them, and, and that all their feelings, their life, and so their feelings for you are a lie. I feel like a strong gust of wind could kill Bob Goblin, so I'm not particularly it concerned about him remembering everything. Away, but you know, I mean, he could. I was just saying, like, make sure you like hold his hand when you're going up and downstairs. So, the, 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 the half removed hand. The reason that I think we need him alive is we need some. We we don't know what we're going back. <laughs> Something to feed to the gu- to the dragon. <laughs> Well, that's a possibility. But the thing is, now that we've charmed him, we can ask him what happened. Because we want to uh, know what's going on above. So we can now say... All then right. we can kill him. Please tell us what has happened in the intervening six months. Uh, it's not been six months. It's been <laughs> less than 24 hours. <laughs> so... Um, well, Bob Goblin, the Hobgoblin... <sighs> Really hoping you were going to kill him. Uh, it, it was the last remaining foe. Uh, so you are now out of combat. You might want to take a couple minutes to heal yes. and uh, and kind of recollect what you're doing. How's that? Short rest. Keep in mind, how long is a short rest? Uh-oh. Uh, it's a hours. short rest. Don't we have potions? Someone has a whole bunch of potions. Yeah, I think Furion had potions. Yeah, I don't know what oh, they hang are. On. Did I get... Um, I got... Molotov cocktails at some point, I'm sure. I listened to that episode healing. and I remember that. I was curious if Liz would remember that. Also, it's interesting that when the discussion of potions came up, that's why you went <laughs> they are not, fire potions. They are not for imbibing. I mean, you know, they're not medicinal. Mm. So I can, uh, I've got uh, lots of spell slots for curing. So I can like... So my one question for you is, I believe that a short rest in 5e... Do you know how long it is? Because I know how long it is. I believe it's an hour. 20 yes. minutes. So no, he won't be charmed hour. anymore. Yes. Well, so if we have a short it. rest, he won't be charmed. If we could, ch- uh, we could cure some wounds and not have a short rest. Yeah, because we don't have that many wounded. Yeah, it's just me and... Uh, yeah, I just I wanted have, to get I'm, my action surge back, but it's not that important. I have what, cure wounds. What's the, the, I'm going. a 13 out of 17. For, what's the name for Molotov I can touch Cocktail? Some people. In this game. <laughs> Alchemist Fire. <laughs> Thank you. Liz, didn't you go to law school? Uh. Yes. <laughs> they didn't teach not, you all the names for, for not, Molotov Cocktail? Not in Adventureland, or wherever oh, this oh. is. Oh, I, that I, seems less useful. Scotland, not the same Scotland. Yes. as Adventureland. <laughs> Scotland, not This game is set in Scotland. Canon. That's a filthy lie. <laughs> well, we don't know which part of it is. <laughs> Oh, no, wait. Adventures Fire. That's right. Alchemist Fire. Alchemist Fire. No, I did put that in. All right. Well so, I've got um, four. so what's well, the plan here? Do we need any healing? So, we should pump Bob Goblin, the Hobgoblin, for yeah, information? Yeah, I think before we do anything, we should find out what the lay of the land is as far as Bob Goblin is aware. Mm-hmm. Um, Surely Bob Goblin, the Hobgoblin, the intelligence officer of this Hobgoblin crew. Bob Goblin, what's been I, going on up, uh, here since we, we last passed through? What 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 happened there, Bob Goblin, oh, the Hobgoblin? Hey, hey, Furion, somehow I know your name because of the magical effects of charm. Mm-hmm. I think of you as a co-worker, but you know, not like a close co-worker. Um, I'm sorry, I, don't, I didn't yeah. get your name, actually. What's your name? Oh, Bob Goblin, Bob Goblin, the Hobgoblin. All right. Nice to meet you. Can I add you on LinkedIn? Hey, buddy. (laughs) Sure. No. Um, What would they call LinkedIn in Dungeons and Dragons world? Chain LinkedIn. Chain LinkedIn. Oh. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Add add a Uh, link to my chain mail. Yes. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Sorry. What what, what were you saying? What uh, What's been going on? You know, we passed through and came down into the depths. Um, What has been going on uh, since then? You caused a lot of trouble for uh, Dern over there. Whoa. Yeah, he was real upset about that whole thing. Lost, lost, lost a lot of face. Uh, he well, lost he, a lot of face. Well. He's really lost his face now, though, hasn't he? <laughs> yeah, because I hit him in the face with my uh, battle axe. That did you get that it. thing I sent you yesterday? Um, anyway. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, so, uh, well, I mean, not a lot. Uh, things were real chaotic, 
with the uh, the whole goblin tribe because you murdered a lot of them. Um, a lot ran away, and so it kind of felt like, you know, sure he was alive, but he wasn't really chieftain of anything. So I don't know. I think probably a couple episo- uh, episodes, episodes, <laughs> <laughs> a couple hours after you guys uh, left, uh, nice. Dern basically uh, gathered together. Uh, the, the, some goblins came back. Goblins came back from patrol as one of them. And uh, we, uh, he got us all together, and he brought us down here to the Grove level, and we've been looking for you. So no sign of uh, what's going on up with the uh, with the kobolds. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, but we uh, we've been down here for uh, most of a day now. All right. So he anything could happen. Things were kind of abandoned when we left. He wasn't quite as useful as I thought. No, I was not. <laughs> <laughs> Kind of want to kill him. <laughs> I mean, d- I mean should I, we... I won't without just... the general consensus, but I Bob, do. Bob Goblin kind of hears want this to. and he starts listing some of his uh, th- ways that he can help you <laughs> while Velo is slowly, slowly circling around behind him with a blade. Well, what else list. could I could do? You, I could, uh, you know, I, I got, I got a, a linoleum siding guy that if you ever need help with that, how about, how about this? I could teach hey, you, uh, Bob Goblin, Bob Goblin, Pinochle, are there, do you want to learn that? Are there other hobgoblins roaming around here or have we pretty much taken care of all of you guys except you? He does a quick survey of the room just to make sure that, uh, <laughs> that not, none of the hobgoblins that you, uh, killed is not, is, you know, only badly wounded. And he's like, nope, that was us. Oh, so now I know about Dern, Bob Goblin. But I see mm. that there are what there are seven other hobgoblins in this room. Plus, I think there were some up th- some that you killed be- the day before, right. right? Right. Yeah, that's that's the that's that's us. Okay, so Does these these seven in the or... room. I mean, I know Dern's name and I know your name, but I don't know the name of the other seven. Could you oh. tell me the other seven's name? <laughs> oh, well, that's Snob over there. Yeah, that's Glob. Uh-huh. Uh huh. That is uh th- that's Ray. Three, great. <laughs> yep. Mm-hmm. Four. Uh, over there. That's that that's Hob Hob the hob Goblin the Goblin sure the Hob no no no, no, no. Hob, sorry Hob Goblin Hob the Hob Goblin we call him Hobby okay um, five <laughs> yep over there that guy Cobb Cobb uh, his name his name's actually Charles but he smokes a <laughs> corn cob pipe. okay so six uh, yes <laughs> um, and him over there Fob. Uh-huh. And said, "Let's go over the keys." What are the names of all the go- hop goblins we killed yesterday? Wait, does Fob have keys on him? Yeah, Fob, Fob must have all the keys for the doors. We yeah, should probably. totally get some keys. Oh, the ones upstairs. S- yeah, yeah. We're all well, I names. was not as big a fr- fan of them, uh, but there was Little Bob. Uh, so, <laughs> is there a big Bob? Is there a curly well? Bob? I'm just Bob Goblin. He's Bob Bob the Hop Goblin. Please, but they call him Little curly- Bob just so that you know you don't want there to be confusion. Curly Bob. Is yeah, he little- actually shorter than you? A little bit. But how much? I mean, uh, do, do you know Hobgoblin units of measurement? Yes. Okay, he's four squats shorter. Wow. That's that's not very much, is it? Who's the tallest Hobgoblin? Well, Dern was. was. I mean, I guess <laughs> I am now. His head. All right. Well, I so me now. So. <laughs> well, this has been do, great. Do you have, do you have um, ambitions to set up a new Hobgoblin society down here? Well, I'll run that up the flagpole. I'm not sure how the higher ups are going to feel about that. I'm not. Who are the higher really ups? Sure. Are there who are yeah, the higher ups? Yeah. Who are higher? I'll be honest. I'm not sure who they are at this point. Uh, we got a real crisis of leadership here. Where's the flagpole? Uh, do, yeah. do you feel you're up to being leader? I, you know, I, I, I kind of see myself more as a middle manager, uh, mm-hmm. like a, a connector gets things done. Um, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know, I thought with a lot of hard work, maybe I could be kind of a hobgoblin project manager. Um, I'm more of a gut behind the scenes, crunch the numbers kind of guy is what I'm saying. Oh, so you talk to the customer so the engineers don't have to. Yeah. You ever meet a hobgoblin engineer? <laughs> you did three of them. You just killed them. Ah. So, <laughs> yeah. Oh, we ca- we kind of ruined your career plans there. Well, and in some ways you create a lot of openings, but you know, you got to <laughs> it's we, we, we are here to help the hobgoblin economy. You know, I, I see this as a big time it's time to pivot is what I'm saying. Yeah. All right. Can I we mean, ask I him mean, to empty in the his hobgoblin pockets. world headcount is an actual thing. Mm. It's true. <laughs> All right, can we get out J- of here? Jason Jason did I name a sufficient number of hobgoblins uh, for you? You were one this... you actually were one short. I was counting oh. you up to uh, the right. triumphant uh, number 7. Mhm. Zob. Zob is the uh, Zob. Okay. He, yeah, he's the junior hobgoblin. He's named after the magic missile knowledge. Right. Mm. So there, you happy? Is that what it, is oh, that what it takes? So, uh, yes. Did he have a twin brother? Have... Did he have a twin brother called Zib? 
but that twin know. brother died so, at a very young age. I have one more question for Bob Goblin, the Hobgoblin, which is how do you feel about spiders? Are you afraid of them or not? And did you notice that Ooh, the spider was trying to bite you? Uh, very good question. I, I got to say indifferent. All right. Yeah. Do you like um, can we have particular spider? spider? Do you, do you want to be friends with it? The I spider mean, goes and crawls up Bob Goblin, the Hobgoblin. You know, you live, when you live in a dungeon, you can't be picky. <laughs> yeah, but this is a really nice spider, right? Um, the nicest spider. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, they always seem kind of crunchy to me. Can we kill him now he was rude to the spider? <laughs> well, like, <laughs> oh, first, do we think he's going to be useful up no. upstairs? I've, no. Because <laughs> he doesn't seem to know much. much. No. I feel kind of attached to him. He's <laughs> no, just not come out. If there are I've no hobgoblins left, what can we like legitimately I mean, use him for? He he, he could. Uh, I mean, he's. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I mean, <laughs> we could feed him to the dragon. But Charles yeah, would work I, for that, I think we it? should take him with us. Uh, as if he's food. willing, if he's willing to come with no, us, well, he, he may not be. We, I don't think we want to tell him he's going to be food. No, no. We could, no. we could, we could offer for him to come with us. But as as coworkers who go out on Thursday night after work, he may not. He may have other plans. We can't coerce him, yeah. him like yeah. that. Well, we we could go to the pub with him. Then we might have a date. Just like yeah. Well, I mean, we have a tavern that we yeah. we were, we're in headed before, out, which is quite if he nice. wants to come along. Well, yeah. I mean, yeah. I could pop by for a little bit, but I shouldn't stay long. Cool. <laughs> All right. Okay. Um, well, we, sounds about right. We're gonna head out now. You, uh, you want to come along with us? I, I, well, I don't. I'm not sure what's. Left. I mean, I guess I could stay here and bury all these guys. Nah. That's nah. <laughs> the, the rats will get them. Um, do you want to make a persuasion check, uh, Knox? <laughs> yeah, you have advantage because he is a coworker um, and charm. So the rats. Will my eat persuasion them. is plus seven. Mm. What? Uh, and I rolled a 16 plus 7. That's quite a lot. 23. Oh, you're right. I never get out. Uh, so the only one concern is that you do have the ticking clock of that hour. Yeah. Well, yeah, it? but I think he might die if he stops being charmed. Like, he might want to pretend to be charmed for a very long time if he wants to live. <laughs> yes. He's, he'll be point. faking it for the rest of the adventure, but he'll pretend to be our friend. Yeah. Um... It's like all co-workers. <laughs> yeah, so uh, do we want to cure some people? Hey, there's spiders in the conference room. Check them out. Get them while they're fresh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, offices. Um. Are we, yeah, it's are not, we curing It's wound? not the same since they stopped doing frogs. Hmm. Wound, wound curing? Yeah. I, I can cure, like, four people. But well, that'll be all my magic slots gone. Okay, I'm, well, like, I'm I've taken uh, six hit points damage, but I'm cool. I'm feeling pretty, yeah, pretty sturdy. Let's get out of here. Yeah, let's yeah. I'm, I'm gonna cure myself because I'm down low. Uh, does Does anyone want to cure Bob Goblin? <laughs> no, nah. nah. Okay, nah, nah. He's like he um, sees all of you curing each other, and he's like, "Hey, any of that? Any left?" Nope. Uh, sorry, just finished. Would he just... like us more when he's uncharmed if we cured him? I don't think, well. <laughs> I mean, we're going to have to see how useful he is in the next, like, ten minutes. And if he's not... Oh. Uh, so I'm going to cure myself as a physician. I think we just uh -huh. I think we just need to keep him around so Tony has to keep saying his name. Yep. Furian, do you That's need to hear it? <laughs> I mean, that was, that, that was my motivation, yeah. really. But uh, You know, I feel so like... Mean. So I mean, I, I wanted to kill him. Remember that, Tony. I, I will to remember kill that. Him. I remember that, Lisa. I gave you. you, I gave you Molotov cocktails. I feel like that. I is, know. <laughs> which was the, I one want of more Molotov pre cocktails. Pretty, pretty high on the list of mistakes I've made. Well, uh, Furian, I just, do you need curing? I'm. I was going to cure myself. I'm down. I'm uh, down four. It's not terrible. I don't have a lot. I only have thirteen, but I'm, my max is seventeen. So. So I just rolled uh, six plus three, so nine. So I'm I mean, I can top you off. I got sure. a bunch of slots. Great. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm at nineteen, so that's probably fine. Sharwin, uh, Sharwin, kind of elbows Vela and says, "Is it safe to bring a hobgoblin with us?" Which one, Sharwin? Well, he's charmed. Sharwin is our, our new friend. Yeah. yeah. What? All right. Oh, I increased Charwin. you by four. No, I, pronunciation. I'm gonna say. Uh, well, I was all for killing him, but these guys are like, whatever. So, I don't know. I don't know. Um, 
lady who shoots things. So what are you about? You know, can I have some of your magic? Can I have some uh, of your stuff? I'm, you got any I'm a little bit, in there? Uh, Charms? No, the uh, amulets, Molotovs. I I'm sorry, I don't swap your Molotov for a cool thing. I was in the thrall of a tree for a long time and uh, yeah. don't really have much to my name right now. But when we so, get back, I mean, my uh, family is very well off, right? So, as you I know... Have, can I have yes. extra stuff that you don't tell the others about? Because <laughs> I like stuff. <laughs> so, we should get Char- going. Charwin walks away. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Furion, uh, Furion, I gave yep. you four health. Thank you. So, uh, in the southeast corner of the room, there is a large hole in the ceiling with vines hanging down from it, which you know is the path up to the... Uh, uh, the uh, upper level of the uh, the dungeon from where you started, correct? I think yeah. we should go that way. Let's, let's Do you want to go that way? Mm-hmm. Let's get yes. out of here. Or, yes. we could, or we could kill more civilians over here. Mm. All right, let me bring you to that map. You will be in the top left corner of that map Ooh. once it loads for you. Spook. Oh, that Spook. map's tiny. Okay. That oh, map's where are black. We oh, top left we're in the whole room. Everything's black. Oh, I forgot how to This is the oh, throne room it. that this was Dern used to hang out here in the chair. But Indeed. there's a, a distinct lack of dragon. You like, return hey. to Dern's former throne room, the Hall of the Goblin Chief, though it was used by a hobgoblin for a while, uh, since Dern and his little group of gang of hobgoblins kind of deposed the goblins and seized power here. And it doesn't look like this chamber, you know, has been used much since... Uh, um, you you pass through here. Up, it's been about a day, right? Because basically, you went down into the Grove level and spent a day in the Grove level dealing with the troubles there. Uh, you defeated the evil druid. You rescued Sharwin, um, but you did also have to sleep down there at some point. So uh, it's been a day. But you are, are there back. any goodies around the throne? Like... I believe that you searched this room pretty thoroughly yeah, when we you did. were here. Did yeah. we murder people here or something? I don't know. I think you murdered no. people adjacent to here. Yeah, yeah. the other room. room below. Didn't we I, take I, a nap I, here? We took a nap here. James knows yeah, all about not... it from constructing yes. Lego dioramas of I, this area. I, I, I have I have looked at all of these places in great detail. <laughs> okay. Excellent. Sh- should we keep um, going then? So uh, there are two. You are in a circular chamber with a big pit leading down to the grove in the middle. Uh, there are two doors off of this chamber. Uh, I have hidden the map because things may have changed and your memory may not be perfect. But there are two doors off of this chamber. Uh, I'm interested to see how much <laughs> our players who have not played in some time remember so, about the map. Or bottom what have to- right. Bottom right is the big room where we had our huge battle, where mm. there was hiding behind sofas and I all sorts. Should, oh, wait, we should send a familiar either under the door yes. or we could just open it because and, there's no and what was there it and we'll the, be fine. What was at the top right, James? Um, that was a corridor which linked round. So it's a, a long corridor that then goes down. So we could kind of avoid this big room. Or we could charge in like Furion did last time and be attacked by everyone. Mm. Yes, it was that room. Yeah, I, yes. I, th- I like the familiar, let's have a quick look under the door. Let's have a peek seat. Okay, I can send Mr. Spe- Where's my spider? <laughs> <laughs> Not that familiar with the familiar guys, anymore. Guys, spider. Just give me a second. I remembered Fox, didn't I? Yeah. 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 Okay. I forgot. Remember the spider. fox. Well, fox has been with us since the beginning. I may yeah. have set up the, the map just a... before the spider was a bit there. I'm and not fox sure. is and adorable. The, I did bring over Bobcap and the Hobgoblin, so Yeah. Well, we appreciate that. The spider, which has stealth plus four and dark vision for thirty feet. Hold on. Um I'm copying it from one thing to another. It's basically like night vision goggles with legs. Fox yes. has nothing. And a poison attack. It's a therapy weasel. Mm. How many hit points does the spider have? Can't be very many. It's a spider. Fifty. What? What? <laughs> <laughs> Where's its hit points? Armor class. Its armor class is higher than mine. Some of those spiders, you try and step on them, and they don't die. Yeah. What? That's it not makes true. sense. Stop telling yes, it <laughs> It's true. It doesn't have hit points. That it's probably right. one because it's a spider. <laughs> that. But it's very small. So then very... Oh yeah, it does have hit points. It is one. <laughs> yes. It has All right. a hit point. So, Vela, have you named your spider? Uh, Don't name the spiders. No. <laughs> Don't no, name it. it. It's a nameless spider. It's, All right. Um, so, the spider uh, will creep under the door. Yes. And this is, to be clear, the southeastern. Yeah. Door. Yes, there we go. 
All Ooh. right. Let me reveal some map for you. Hello, Pixie. Also, I can sense and see what Spider oh. sees. Oh, Her that problem. looks... What's, what's this about? Who are the, these dudes? It, it's kobolds. All right. In what? the room beyond. <laughs> <laughs> these, are, these are our buddies, right? Meeple loves us, yeah? I, Meeple still loves us. So we've got... We've got dragon. We've People, got there are Meepo. listeners for this podcast. We yeah. should talk to them a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, the room beyond was once the great hall of the goblins, where basically it was their communal living space. And as you remember, the main feature of this room, other than it is very big, is the pile of trash in, on the southern wall. Uh, the, sofa. the spider the, creeps. The sofa, yeah. yeah, the spider creeps under the door and discovers on the other side of the door um, rows of kobolds that appear to be doing some kind of uh like calisthenics in Mind kind it? of in like in like a formation uh there are several kind of slightly more severe looking kobolds uh kind of clustered on the corners of the far side of the room uh Carallax, the ice dragon is curled up on a pile of trash and in front of all of the uh the kobolds leading them in their kind of strange rituals that they're doing is one meepo the kobold the kobolds begin to chant. What are they chanting? Meepo, Meepo, he's our leader. Oh Hello. my goodness! Oh. He deserves a throne of cedar. <laughs> <laughs> oh, on the one hand, I kind Carlax, of want Carlax to Carlax ju- is a dragon. He eats our foes by the wagon. I and then they of, repeat that. I kind of want to like <laughs> sneak around the other way, because I have the horrible feeling Meepo has become a power mad lunatic. Uh, now that would be fun. <laughs> And You'll, we're going to have uh, to take him out. <laughs> there are several, uh, the, the room, it has been a little tidied up. The, the trash has been a little bit more kind of uh, clustered in the pile. Somebody has removed the many goblin corpses that you all created. Um, there's also, uh, there's several uh, very dramatic crimson tapestries uh, around the hall. They seem to kind of depict, I guess it's Meepo and Carallax in kind of triumphant poses. Mm. Oh, I mean, it. it's... I- it sounds I, like Tony's done a lot of work for this room. I really so if we <laughs> just walk around the other way, let's just walk yeah. around the other way. To be fair, okay, to be fair the there's the no way that that's around. actually a tapestry of Meepo because we've been gone like a day. <laughs> a, lot, a lot can happen. I don't know. If yeah, is I'm, the crimson dye? Is that blood? Mm. Are they wow. dyed with blood? Is it the blood that we left them? So they owe us money for that dye. Well, the real question is: Do we want to go into this room, or do we want to sort of sneak out of I here and go away? It because our dungeon master was mean about something or other that I can't but remember. He, he's created rhymes. And wait, 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 also, wait, wait, I feel wait. narratively, this, as we're reaching the end of this adventure, not to say goodbye to Meepo and see what's up with the dragon might be uh, unfulfilling. If, and you sneak away. Goodbye, not, the end. Yeah, <laughs> it's, you guys are adventurers. So you get this, to decide what you're going to do. There's, that, there are this multiple. This is Dungeons and Dragons, and not a novel. No, I, I totally go in. He's the dragon. Yeah, I mean that they I, they liked me the last time I was here. Uh, okay, mm-hmm. for, first though, I think Velo's familiar is going to have a little pop up to this door here and just have a peek under it as good, well. You good know, idea. just for completion. Yeah, good idea. Okay. Yeah. okay. Yeah. yeah. You so can also I, disguise so Max as a dragon born. Like there could be a rock fall there. So, oh no, there's could, no rock fall. Could be, it's could be full of treasure. Uh, the, I, the familiar peeks under the wall, the door. You see a 20, long 30, corridor 30. heading off to the east. Okay. I'm just going to pop up a little bit. I kind of. I have a distance of a hundred feet. The spider can go, and I can see what he's seeing. Kind of. I would be kind of sad to not have me in the story again before we finish. I think we should kick Bob Goblin, the Hobgoblin, down that hole. No. No. Presents, presents, and then close the door behind him. (laughs) Come on, yeah. That's actually an interesting point. At this point, if we walk into the room with Bob Goblin, the Hobgoblin, as part of our overall work group, that might not be a good. It's yeah. not going to be good for anybody, for including yeah. Bob. Bob down, back down the hole. Yeah. Bob yeah, is but... going to die either way. Oh so I just I mean, let's just tell like Bob. Eventually, we let's, all die. Let's just tell Bob all the kobolds and a dragon are in there, and you might want to get out of here and just have him you just might leave. Have, yeah, go back. You and... know what? I think there might be like there was a tunnel off of that cave where the 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 other hobgoblin with the hat lived. I'm just gonna go check that out if that's good with you guys. See you, Bob Goblin. See you, Bye, see Bob. you at the pub on Thursday. All Bye, right, Bob, Bob, Bob. Text me. Bye. Later, Bob. That's he means. <laughs> he someone means to have Elena sent him a mental message. <laughs> yes. All right. Bye, Who's going in first? Uh, uh, so think... is that okay? Bob, Bob Goblin, the Hobgoblin is gone. Yeah. 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 Yep. yeah. All right. Um, so, so long as he can make a return in a future. He high fives you guys on the way. Yeah. And then oh, great! I like that. 
He does yeah. like a sort of, uh, he, he goes around really the circle, high-fiving high five five everyone, and yeah. then goes down. Hey, this guy, a lot of finger guns from oh, Bob Gavin. Yes. Bob Gavin. I love this um, guy. I, I think Nox, <laughs> Slide to I'm going to go in, and if they kill me... Uh, we'll sneak was... around the other way. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's good to send Nox in first. <laughs> yeah. So Already uh, at the door. All right, I pop in and then just say... So you just march into the room. <laughs> Yeah. No, he Hi goes guys. Like, no. knock first, knock yeah. politely, and pop your head around. And knocks, say, knocks. I'm, yes. I'm the one who knocks. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right. So Meepo is pacing I back and the forth. Laugh in that sound. The, uh, the kobolds, the kobolds oh. are chanting oh. and marching in place as Meepo paces in front of them. Knox opens the door, boldly strides into this giant uh, kind of throne room type configuration, and hey, Meepo, how's it going? Meepo whirls around, sees you, and yells, Seize him! Oh, oh yes! Oh, oh, Meepo. I told oh, you! Meepo. I told you! He, he's Meepo. gone bad! Oh, oh my god. Meepo. Okay, that, there is, it's too late for Nox. We gotta, we gotta go around the other way. Uh, so, uh, Nox, the, uh, the kobolds at the back of the group here just look like commoners. They're not armed. Um, the, uh, so there's, just to, to kind of give you a lay of the land here. There are several different types of kobolds in this room. Uh, there's several rows of just commoners. They're unarmed. There's a couple, it looks like there's six kobolds that got kind of spears. They don't look that tough. They look equivalent to Meepo. And then there's four kind of elite kobolds with, uh, they've got armor and funny little helmets and spears, and they look kind of tough and stern. And then, of course, there's Carolax the dragon uh, sleeping on top of the pile of trash. So, uh, the commoners uh, kind of cluster around you and see, like they're reaching out to hold your arms. They are unarmed. They are just the littlest, most defenseless of kobolds just and trying to grab your arms. Is this a friendly seize? Like, a, come on up here, buddy. It How didn't you doing? sound like that, but I yeah, don't want to murder everyone just yet because okay, yeah. yep. you, 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 there are, just to be clear, there are, I guess we should give our, our listeners a number. There's what? There's more than Eight, a dozen kobolds in this room. I'm just kobolds gonna point in this room, out, Tony. If, if we'd, yeah. if we'd yeah. murdered Bob Goblin, the Hobgoblin, and then had You did had not murder him. You sent him away. You and spared survives. the life of a Hobgoblin. And then had a rest. Some of us could have had all our magic powers back. And yet, yeah, we did not think to do that. But I we kind are, of said... We are going to... I'm blaming all of them if we die. Take non-violent actions here. It's It's our, okay. it's well, our well, way. It's, it, it's our way. Well, up yeah. to you, Nox. Noxy, go on. Find right. out what's going on here. Um, so Sacrifice your life for the group. No. Uh, uh, <laughs> Meepo, wh- wh- what's with the seasoning? Uh, we're friends. <laughs> okay. Uh, the uh, the kobolds uh, are going to try and kind of push you toward the front of the group. How's that? Okay. <gasps> like a like a crowd surfing situation. Oh, well, man. I mean, it's, he's on the ground, but you oh. know, oh. they're going to kind of shove. They part to lift slash shove you through. <laughs> crowd surf him to the front. Yeah, he's yeah. too large for them to pick oh. up. Quite honestly, so okay. And uh, me, oh, then uh, they close again behind him. Really, me, Meepo. Uh, so you're standing there. Uh, two of the kobold trying to kind of push you to so that you're uh, sitting or kneeling on the ground, Knox. But uh, you're a dragonborn. I'm still taller. Yeah, I don't. Also, you're a dragonborn. I don't think they have the ability to do that unless you wanted to do that. Um, so I'll go along with it for All now. Right. Let's see where so, this goes. Meepo attempts to loom under you, over you. He's of course still a good <laughs> head shorter than you, when, even when you're kneeling on the ground. Oh, so Meepo. he looms up at you, um, <laughs> and he kind of looks stern, and he stands right over you, and he kind of, kind of, kind of whispers to you. He's like, "I just, I always wanted to say that." Sees Aww. them. Sees him. Feels it feels good. No hard feelings, right? None at all. I, and I always knew the best person for the job. Can they high five and bro hug? Yeah. <laughs> um Yeah, the, the the other kobolds look at you suspiciously. Uh Meepo says, I, I'm kinda in charge now. I mean Carolax is calling the shots, but um she sleeps a lot, so it's it's me a lot. <laughs> How's it going? Oh, Where are your friends? Really are cool. they okay? We, um, we 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 burnt a big tree and lots of little trees and some <laughs> medium-sized trees. Mention um, the hobgoblins. Mention our hobgoblin murder. Oh, oh uh, and we killed all but one of the hobgoblins. We left oh. one alive as a Isn't warning it? to. Oh wow, that's great! Um, I, hold somebody. on, I should write this down. Left one alive. Smart. Uh, he, the other the kobolds are looking at Meepo impatiently as he's having a whispered conversation with his prisoner oh. um and so meepo kind of like peeks over your shoulder knocks and says uh go clean some stuff guys <laughs> and the uh, the kobolds kind of start 
you know, running around the chamber, um, uh, t- d- doing chores. Man, this yeah. hey, very Meepo, Shall I invite the rest of the gang in? Oh yeah, totally. Gang. Oh, uh, uh, hey, in. everybody! More people are coming. They're friends. We could still kill them all. <laughs> I think inside my head. All right. So uh, the the rest of you, followed by Sharon Hercreal, uh, head into the throne room where uh, Meepo is hanging out. Uh, also, Carolax hey, the dragon is sleeping on a pile of trash. What oh, are we really? We rescued Sharwin here, who was uh, under the the thrall of an evil tree. Which evil we burned. tree? Wow! And that's like the whole reason you guys were here, right? Yeah. Wow, I mean, congratulations. We yeah, did come here to meet you as well. But oh, yeah. Yeah. well, we've, you're too we've kind. We've cleared out a lot of real estate for you if you want to yeah, you know, I mean, expand. Like, guys, 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 guys. Rooms. I am like, I'm, I'm in charge of the tribe now. I mean, like, again, Carallax is kind of in a new position, but like, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm like the kobold queen now. I, I have one question. Yeah. Where, where is the kobold queen? Oh, she's around. I mean, like, she's still important, but, um, you know, she just is not a, a symbol of power that she once was. She what gracefully happens? gracefully steps aside. Much what like happened? the real queen. What happened? Well, uh, you know, uh, I, I had the idea, because you guys killed all those goblins, uh, mm-hmm. that we would take over their base, because their base is it's really great, guys. Uh, yeah. And there's still a bunch of goblins left. We gave them our old base. Sounds like a win-win. Yes. All your base are belonging wait, to us. Wait, wait. You gave them your old base. Yeah. So you gave they, them. They are between us and the exit. <laughs> the exit. What's an exit? Well, uh, remember where we found you? Oh Not far from there, you get up to the top of the citadel and, and we can go we can go back to town. I'm pretty sure this is the top of the citadel. What's a town? It's like oh, a maple. different citadel somewhere else. Ha, that doesn't have you make any seen sense. the the big blue room? No. Ah. Wow, do you want to take a trip? You know, expand your no, horizons. No, I got a, I got, a, got a lot of work to do here now. Could you maybe have he- one of heavy, your uh, heavy is the head? That, where's the crown? Could you have maybe he one says, of your kobold uh, buddies here? One of your your those who serve you lead us back to uh, you know a safe way, kind of out of uh, uh, through kobold territory and back to where maybe we met you. Oh, yeah, there's, well, there's the um, the back door, which we took to get here, right? Okay, or so... Or there's the front door, which is the direct route. If, um, if you swap territories, how did the goblins decide to leave here and go to your old place? Well, we, we told them which way to go. I mean, it wasn't, wasn't really given to them as a choice, that's what I'm saying. Ah, under threat and of dragon. And you didn't kill them because... Well, I mean, a lot of people had died. I mean, it really, you know... You're like, mean. Uh, a ceasefire with them? Well, I mean, a lot of them did not, like, have weapons or anything. So, hmm. uh, involuntary ceasefire? Well, I mean, like, scores of people died yesterday. It was a whole thing. Oh, I mean, right. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. oh, right, there was not us. Yeah, we killed lots. Oh, okay, I thought they might have killed some as well. No. Did they, they take well, their a weapons? A few, but, like, yeah, it was mainly you guys. <laughs> Yeah. I don't. Oh, okay. I don't know. They may not be happy to see you, or maybe they'll be terrified of you. I don't know. So, what would be the best so we w- if we wanted to minimize our our uh, interaction with uh, goblins and just get back up to the you know as high as we can go in the citadel, sort of like back where you were? Um, mm-hmm. How would we do that? What would be our best path? The front door or the back door? Uh I guess the back door, but not by much. I, I what? think. Did we not promise to leave some gold for oh Carolex? Oh my god, you're bringing that up! She's sleeping. No. Yeah, but I, I'm just like a can token leave her a little thing. bit. Of, yeah, we can leave her a little no. bit of gold. Yeah. I think I we should gold. leave. Can, I'll like, happily leave some gold. Yeah, you, 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 we made a deal. And? We're getting a lot of gold from the Hercules. We, we Okay, yeah. we I did some killer we, armor we, we right got now, gold, so I can but, sell that later. But we're giving them real estate. We're giving them land. And isn't that so much worth so much uh, We claimed that land, thank you. I'm yes, you did. Good job, Meepo. We cleared out of things that could kill you so you can expand into it. So, you know. I I, I think we really deserve to be paid, but because I mean, we're the nice thing people, is, we, we didn't actually get much treasure down there, and we're going to get a whole lot more outside. So if we leave a percentage of the treasure we got down there, you don't have to give away much. any of your Molotov cocktails, though. Yeah. I'm not do I would you could take my Molotovs from my cold mm-hmm. dead hands. Well, I have 15 gold I can throw at him. All right, well, let's get out of here. 
Yeah, right, I'm gonna leave my 15 gold tip. Yeah, I'm gonna yeah. leave. Yeah, leave a we, little we tip. We said for we Meepo. were gonna tip. Well, we're gonna so. slip some some uh, silver pieces to Meepo. I okay. leave nothing. Me- Meepo hands those off to a uh, kobold nearby with little spectacles, who counts them and le- <laughs> takes a log of them. Uh, Meepo says, "Oh, this- thank you. Appreciate it. It's always good to, you know, pay up ten percent of whatever you claimed in the dungeon below. That's how we do things." Uh, I-, I would be remiss as your friend and noble leader of the kobold chieftain um, that, uh, you know, we. Uh, I believe that the the kobold tribe owes you something as well. Yes, you do. Correct. Because because you helped me liberate Carolax. What is it? Can we have some stuff? What is it? It, um, was, a, it was a choice of things, I indeed think. Indeed it was. I will honor the agreement uh, made by my former queen. And you have your choice. Uh, it is either uh, this key that was in... I, I took it with us when we switched throne rooms. It was in the, the mouth of that uh, dragon statue. I don't know what that does. Probably you don't want to get bogged down in other adventures while you're on your way out, right? That's how people die. Um, <laughs> or uh, you get choice of uh, some of these things. Don't really know what they do. He points to a, kind of a pile. It's set aside from the pile of trash over in the corner. It does look like it is all the stuff that was hastily moved from the uh, previous uh, Goblin Queen's uh, throne room to here. Uh, you just spy from just from a distance. It looks like uh, there's basically some small uh, magical items. It looks like there's some spell scrolls, um, some kind of flask, and a token that is shaped like a tree. Hmm. So, I believe that you were promised uh, two of these? Ooh. Does this tree token, would that have been useful at the tree? Can we, can we look at the... Uh... Uh, is there anything I can do, like maybe Arcana check or something, to yes. try and get, detect yeah. what what these things are? Mm-hmm. We hand them to our I appraiser. Rolled, hey, I rolled a critical success for Arcana. Yes. All right. So yeah. you study these things. Furion flips back and forth in his book. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, occasionally has to consult some things. Um, so uh, there are three spell scrolls. Again, you are entitled. There's basically five objects total. Uh, Furion, and I believe you're entitled to two of them. The three spell scrolls are Mage Armor, Spider Climb, and Knock. Knock, not Knocks. Mm -hmm. There is a flask that contains three doses of Elixir of Health. Ooh, nice. That sounds good. And the tiny object that looks like a kind of like it's got like a tree, but also looks like a tree made of feathers. It is a feather token. It is Qual's feather token. And specifically, um, you need to be out. You would know, Furion. It would. You must be outdoors to use this token, both for safety and magic properties. Uh, you can use an action, touch it to an unoccupied space on the ground. The token disappears, and in its place, a non-magical oak tree springs into existence. Hmm. Ooh, let's get that too. The that tree is sixty fun. foot tall and has a five foot diameter trunk. It creates yes. a tree. You know what happens if we make an oak tree? We can set it on fire. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So there are also presumably non-magical trees in the world <laughs> i say uh, we take the flask yep yep and yes. um one of the scrolls i say we take the flask and the oak tree all right i'm okay with that i mean oh I my don't... god why are you listening to me it's an oak tree Jeez. well we can put it. the oak be, tree underneath the, the tavern and then activate it, it and then put the tavern to be outside if there's a climate control problem in the Dungeons and Dragons world, we have burnt down a tree. So maybe we yeah. can plant, plant a tree. Uh, we need to we be carbon to plant, neutral. We have to be carbon neutral in this yes, situation. Yes, we have carbon neutral adventures <laughs> in the pyramid. <laughs> you stole my joke. So joke. I think we should so take, oh no. take the, the tree token. And it's an o- it's a carbon <laughs> offset is what it is. Yeah, yeah. Oh it's a credit. Gosh. It's an adventure hey, credit. Hi. Uh, do we want to have a small rest before we proceed? Yes, so that we please. Can recharge our have stuff? a small rest before you proceed. He snaps his fingers and kobolds scurry around to provide you with beverages and light uh, crude attacks. Do they feed, oh. okay. feed us? I would like to taste this beverage. What does it taste like, please? Uh, it tastes like water. Oh. <laughs> well, that's actually pretty good for kobolds. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but I got like alcohol from the other dudes. So. I think that was just vinegar. <laughs> I think when we get to town, it was just vinegar. I think when we get to town, yeah. we can have a, a nice drink at the pub. Drinkies? So we got to. Yes. Yeah. So we take a rest. And then that... are we getting out of here with our. Uh, yeah, let's yep. get out of yes, here. Please. I think that's. With so our carbon we, offset we have and a our rest. flask. Yep. A tree and a flask. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, right. We took the tree. so whatever singing happens, happens, and we're all good. There we go. Indeed you are. <laughs> 
Uh, so, Tony. Sorry. Did you have a question, Tiff? I do. What was the armor I stole? What kind of it armor was it? It was called splint armor. Okay, thanks. I figured out how to put it in my inventory now. So thank ne- you. Excellent. <laughs> yeah. It's probably better than what you had. The only question is, are you able to use it? Yeah. Sometimes you're not. Also, the right, Hercule family may want it back, but they may well, want for it now, back. Well, for now, I'm Hide it. it in a sack before we, we, yeah. we might there. not want to be wearing it when we go back to the well, mansion. Well, Char- Sharwin <laughs> Char- Char- has seen you with it, too. And, oh, yeah. no. I can add it. Bam. All right. We can um, add it. So uh, you've had your rest. You've had some uh, light cobalt finger food. Uh, Meepo uh, Carlax continues to sleep Uh, Meepo uh, kind of gathers you up and says friends you have truly changed everything about the Citadel things will never be the same thanks to you Uh, no doubt we will never cross paths again but I wish you well in your travel and one of my uh, my interns will see you out even if we never cross paths again we will never forget you ah We'll never he, forget you, group, Beepo. Group hug. <laughs> no. Yep, group hug. Oh, group hug I was with really Meepo. I'm scared that you were going to die, Meepo, but I'm glad that we made sure you didn't die in our adventure thing. Max Beepo, is known show to them hug the way out. too hard, and Meepo takes one damage. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Noted. Hug, that is hug damage. 20, 20% of Meepo's health. <laughs> <laughs> He's so fragile. But he looks so proud. Oh, bless uh, his heart. Beepo, the elite kobold, will show you the way out. Uh, he looks quite serious for a small, tiny little kobold. Mm-hmm. Uh, Beepo is my most trusted scout, and he will he will he will protect you while you're in our territory. Wait, what's it called Beepo? Beepo. <laughs> yes, because they all rhyme now. Cannon. <laughs> yep. Please Beepo. name all the other kobolds in the room. <laughs> there's eighteen of them. No, I've done a lot of things today, people. Uh, yeah, for you. there's eighteen of them, but there are twenty. Same. Six and that's the difference four letters in the alphabet. between I can't remember. us and a group of professional improv. Uh, yeah, you would name is, some of is, them. Is that Tony could yes and us, and instead he's like, you know, no. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's <laughs> improv with Tony Sindelar. Nope. Um, so Beepo is prepared to lead the way if you're prepared to depart. Yeah, let's go, yep. Beepo. Yeah. I, I think we we walk out waving uh, to Meepo. Fox the Weasel. All, all the kobolds are gather around and give you a round of applause. There's a you. song. Oh, song yeah. I love it. Yeah. Yeah. Are we walking good. in slow yeah. motion, like in like yeah. the right stuff or something? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let's do all it. Right. Uh, Beepo uh, opens the door and leads you into a familiar long hallway carved with some dragon pillars. Oh, yeah, I got knocked says, out in here. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. Good times. Uh, so Beepo says, okay, you uh, we can go straight ahead and take kind of the back door, or I can lead you off to the south uh, would be the main entrance to the goblin uh, territory. Which one were you thinking? Back door? I like the back door. The back door, door was... Uh, that was slightly better, apparently. And we've seen so, that, right. that space Yeah, before. we know what we're doing. All right. And I don't know. Maybe we'll meet some of our friends, any... too. Who knows? He leads you across the uh, the hall, down toward the end. There's kind of a storage room. There's a bunch of kobolds in there. It looks like taking inventory of all the stuff that uh, um, the goblins have looted over the, uh, the years. Uh, again, you're backtracking places you've been. Uh, off of the storage room, there is a room with a, it was kind of a goblin Caltrops. shooting range. Oh, yeah. yeah, I remember this place. Uh, the kobolds don't seem to be as, they're mainly spear-based, so they're not really doing anything. One of them has a sling, and he's he's practicing little rocks, throwing rocks this is where we the saved shooting me- range. This is where, uh, yeah. where uh, yeah. Max saved Meepo. Yeah. Right here. All memories. Oh. Jump, fell, uh-huh. Jumped in front of uh, uh, an arrow meant for Meepo. Yeah, oh. picture. Uh, Good the, uh, the, go- the goblins, the kobolds seem to have maintained the goblins' uh, little caltrop field here, um, and he uh, he uh, he heads uh, past the uh, the field of caltrops. So you uh, the the kobolds have a little thing where they lay down some planks that you can That's kind of nice. walk wow. across those without you know impaling your feet. Like nice. a team building exercise. Yeah. yeah, we should have brought planks with us. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and, uh, uh, Beepo says on the other side of that, there's another little square room, relatively featureless. Uh, you know that you are not far from the chambers where you, uh, fought a giant rat, like a rat queen. And Beepo says, this is kind of the edge of our territory here. Do you know the way? Yeah, sure. Nope. (laughs) (laughs) Well, any friend of a Meepo is a friend of ours. 
Friend, travel is sa- a friend travel of a safely, people. adventurers. Farewell, Beepo. Bye, Thanks, Beepo. Beepo. Goodbye, Beepo. All right. So the room beyond is a familiar uh, territory, and uh, it is still littered with rat corpses because nobody has been by to clean things up since you left. Spider reconnaissance. There's not. We're good. I think we're good. Let's. let's no, 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 no. This is a trap. There's fountains. This is clearly a trap. <laughs> All right, I'm going in anyway. Okay. okay. <laughs> Hello. Here I am. Attack me, trap. No traps attack you, Velo, as you head into the desolate rat hallway. Uh, the lack of traps north, is a trap. What, to the north the... is the uh, the hall that leads to. Um, uh, there is a room with a series of pit traps. I believe that is where you found the remains of the ranger who was with mm. Sharwin's party. And Sharwin's like, ah, yes, I remember. This is where we got split up. And to the south, there is a room with a, uh, I believe it's like a dry fountain. And there is a door to the east there that I don't think you ever successfully opened. Oh, okay, it's better to the, the door. door let's let's uh, oh, no, this, wait, it can't go, can it? Yeah, this door is, is different. Is there a keyhole in this door? Um, this so, is the magic uh, cold door, right? This, is the this was a magic mm-hmm. door that was cold to the touch. Uh, it has a bunch of dragon motifs carved into it. And uh, uh, specifically, skeletal dragons. <laughs> And the air is cold to the touch. Yeah, I still don't want to go in this room. Is, is there a keyhole? There's I also keyhole. believe, I'm remembering here, uh, you could... I, all right. <laughs> Everyone give me a qu- quick memory check. We'll call that a wisdom check. Wisdom or intelligence. Depends which one you remember. Uh, uh, we're not going to talk about that throw. Thank you. 14. 13. 22. Plus. Wow. Kieran, yeah. you well, remember that just getting near that door... There was a giant scythe. <laughs> no, my spider. That. No, my spider's too small. Remember, right? remember that? Because also yep. uh, Zoom kept kept dropping out whenever yep. I would say the word scythe. <laughs> yeah. 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 Yep. Okay. But guys, just... guys, remember memories? Memories of Dungeons and Dragons. Oh, it's all the friends we met along the way, like that scythe <laughs> that all that cut that's out Tony's internet. Ah, yes. <laughs> yeah. Are you? Can we? Can we find out what's behind that door at some point? No. Just let, no, let, no, no. I don't mean in game. I mean out of game. <laughs> Afterwards, maybe. we can find out. We can I'm, bribe I'm Tony. All but right, I think but we we're, just we're, we're marching, marching, we're moving uh, on, yeah. moving on. All right, so you continue to backtrack. It's a montage of all the places you've been before. You remember <laughs> that horrible corridor? Well, it wasn't that horrible. That spooky backdoor corridor where you convinced some goblins that you were totally Graham the Goblin Guard. guard. Uh, good times, uh, good yeah. times. Oh, I love a good montage. Yeah, and your montage comes to a crashing halt as you return to the former. Chamber of Meepo oh, the clubs. Dragon Watcher, which is now seems to be a uh, a goblin goblin clubhouse. Specifically, you recognize the goblins standing <laughs> in this room. So is it can clubs we, clubhouse? Can we wave at them and say hi, guys? Just passing. This is through. more of an Ux house than a clubs house. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> well, I think I Ux, imagine Ux and clubs. The goblins that you had some previous uh, interchanges with are just standing around in this room that used to be a cult. Cobalt dragon pen. Are they the ones that we charmed? They are. Yeah. And they are the ones who will remember that we charmed them. Unless we mm-hmm. charm them again. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I was thinking. There is a, a third goblin skulks nearby. Well. And you know this area well skulking? to know that there are. It's a pretty open area. A lot of hallways leading off into the what was formerly the uh Is the his cobalt. name skulks? No. Well. It is now. Does anyone remember an which one of these hallways leads out? You believe that the way out is to the uh, east. I think we should just make a run for it. What could go wrong? I, I, to the I really do think we should try to, to charm these guys and then just have us lead them, lead them out. Because that actually worked pretty well yep. for a while last time. Yeah. I would say it's worth a go, and I can do like do we six have charm spells. I, uh, at yeah. once? I've got a level two. I can take two of them at once. Yes. Oh, nice. so, so have I. So, so one of us. All right, well, go for it. One of us does a, a level one, and one of us does a level two. Go for it. Go. Go uh, on, you charming boys. That's us. So okay, uh, done. Let Let's do it. I'll t- I'll do level two. Okay, you're gonna take Ux and clubs. Yeah, wisdom thirteen, Tony. Goblins have a minus one wisdom modifier. What? <laughs> so this is uh, Ux and clubs. Yep. All right, Ox. 
Uh, 14. Oh, no. Clubs, 15. Oh, no. Fail. They've seen you before. Hey, you guys again. I don't remember what Goblin sounded. Oh, they had horrible British accents, except we decided right. not to do that. <laughs> In that case, I... I will try a level two charm on the two of them as well. All right. They are also goblins. They are not the most threatening of creatures. Yeah, but uh, it'd be nice to have them back on our team. Uh, <laughs> they could join us on Thursday gang. night. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody goes for to drinks the after work. Uh, Thursday crew. All right. So I, let's... I don't think they're welcome at the top. The, the top. The so, in Oakers. So they, there's have, some they just have to one. behave themselves. Maybe or um, apologize. So wisdom thirteen again. Ux first. Uh, critical fail. That's modifies to a zero for Ux. Ux yeah. is with us. Clubs gets a six. Hey, you guys. Hey, we know you guys. <laughs> hey, <laughs> we used to go hey. after drinks on Thursdays. Hey, Skulks. These are guys we were talking about. Get in here. Skulks wanders in. Skulks, Skulks looks in. like Skulks looks somehow stupider than Ox and Clubs. <laughs> <laughs> we don't need to charm him at all. Yeah, I'm sure peer pressure will make I mean, there's fun. like six of you and two of his hey, friends. Hey, buddies. Just introduce you. We're getting out of here. We're just uh, getting getting back to the, the top of the of the thing where we can we can go home. Oh, just do there, says Clubs. He points to the east. Okay, thanks, guys. See you yeah, things are, you uh, things are a little call? chaotic around there. Maybe I'll see you up on the surface. That's not east, Velo. <laughs> <laughs> he, points, he points you to, <laughs> to the east. <laughs> How's it been east? going? Uh, how did the swap with the kobolds go? Uh, you know, not a big deal down at our level vis-a-vis -vis guards, but leadership's real shaken up about it. You know, a bunch of people vying for who's going to be control now. Um, uh, I don't know. Honestly, I wouldn't mind working for that Meepo guy, but I don't think we'd be welcome there. You know, yeah, yeah, he's, a, he's nice a reasonable fellow. You know, they're not you know? using the archery range, so you might be able to work out some sort of, like, timeshare. You know, I just, I don't understand, like, fighting just doesn't have the appeal that it used to. Oh. After all the killing oh. yesterday, right? Yeah, a I mean, lot, lot of death yesterday. Yeah. We prefer to talk things out as well. I get it. I get it. Communication is so important. It's the foundation of a relationship. Yes. All right. Well said, Knox. Well said. <laughs> Let's get out of here. Uh, do, you right. wanna, do you want to show us to the door? I, I, sure. Uh, we, we, uh, I would like to Skulls think. Skulls will be right back. Ox and Clubs, uh, open the door. Right. Um, they show you the familiar long hallway that you know leads to a big circular chamber. That Let's is go. The entrance. Oh, uh, there. can crack. Did we meet them before? <laughs> Are these newbies? <laughs> or? I don't think you know. Uh, there are two goblins with name tags. Skronk and Grox uh, are in the, uh, the the main chamber. They seem to be on guard duty. Uh, but Clubs and Ox being the first people through the room, they seem not too worried. They say, uh, these guys are on their way out. Don't worry about them. And they seem confused, but are not going to stop. And so uh, they point you to the way out of the Citadel to your east. Hey! Oh my god, we're getting out! Sunlight! You I have hate. the chance to get out. You know that other parts of the Citadel remain unexplored. <laughs> Don't do it, Tony. Oh <laughs> you come back hey, hey, later. Hey, Sharwin, how do you feel about, you know, we're getting out now? I, you know? I would like to go home. Mm -hmm. I need to tell my mother about the fate of my brother. <laughs> Hey, you could just go off by yourself now. You don't, you know. No, yes. no we definitely no. need to return, Sharwin, to get think the gold of it this that way, you want. Velo, this is when we get paid. Do you want to come along oh, right. to yeah, get yeah, paid? No, 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 you, 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 you can't. There's, there's giant rats out there. We'll have to, you know. And so you escort Sharwin Hercule back oh my God. to the town of Oakhurst. I can't believe it. Oh my God. We made it out. Well, we're jumping it. straight to Oakhurst. Oh, you make wow. it back to the town. <laughs> oh, look. Oh, it feels so like a very, very long time since <laughs> oh we saw Oakhurst. Oh my Oak gosh. Coast. We're home. Um, home. The Carowin Hercule matriarch of the Hercule family is relieved to see Sharwin again. Uh, you are rewarded with your, you have kind of a three part reward. You get 125 gold pieces uh, for the knowledge of Sharwin. She's with you. 125 for bringing her back alive. That brings you to 250. And uh, 125 for the fate and return of the signet ring of her brother who did not make it. So I believe that brings you to 375, which is a lot of money. That if feels wanna... like the maximum score. Uh, well, yes. I mean, he, he was dead. So there's yeah. no way to get Wait, him. did yeah. they take my armor back? 
We um, could have reanimated them. Are the reanimation spells? Uh, that feels you like that literally did not even find his remains. Right. So, oh, yeah. where were I think his they remains? Ate him. I'm wearing his they 62 him. and a half gold pieces per oh, adventurer, they, they though, they so it's pretty good. Woo! It, yeah. Um, so the uh, the the, the Hercule Granite family is gladly uh, g- gives you their promised reward. Uh, they take on arranging kind of a remembrance ceremony for the adventurers who did not make it back, including... Um, the uh i should remember his name the missing hercule um Teg- 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 tegwin 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 we're great at this game people <laughs> so. hey we're not the hey, dm we we're never just met some him. dudes <laughs> how can we remember his name we never met him it's fine i gave Teg- you a Teg- wanted poster with his name on it um, yeah, i lost it <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes. i recycled it i'm sorry <laughs> yes um, hold on i'm looking it up because it's going to bother me it's if I can't t- find Tugan, it. Tugan, Tegwin, something like T E U. Tucan. Tucan. Let's just agree it was Tucan. Tucan. Um, Talgan. Talgan, sure. uh, Sir Bradford, and Caracas, the Ranger. There will be a uh, a, a remembrance ceremony at the, uh, at the pub. Later <laughs> you just tonight. performed the In- remembrance ceremony. <laughs> you looked yes. them up, yeah. therefore remembering them. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, and it, it is suggested that El Scorcho continue to wear. Um, I just said his name. I've already forgotten. Tegwin. 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 That his uh, legend may live on. I will wear uh, it with wow. honor. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> Until um, you find something. And better. so you have, <laughs> sa- you have saved. Uh, you you have saved Sharwin. You have probably saved uh, the Citadel and possibly Oakers from whatever it is that that evil druid was planning with the tree and the twig blights. And all Though those there apples. does remain the lingering question of those goblins were selling apples to the people of Oakers for many seasons, and they were planting those seeds. And will someday a bitter harvest be reaped? Could we? Don't worry about that. <laughs> Nah, but, uh, see, I'll find out about it in the next issue of Oakhurst and Beyond. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Smash cut to the tavern where Knox is doing a guitar solo and everything <laughs> is great. Congratulations, you have completed Woo! your first Woo! Dungeons and Dragons adventure. Oh Somehow you're all alive. Didn't think that was going to happen. Uh, hey. but I, it was I touch had, and go sometimes. I hey. had complete confidence in all of us. You know, death is a part of life. Um, especially Dungeons and Dragons. Like yeah. So, um, you know, characters come and characters go. So good job, everybody. You made it. Hooray. I have questions. All what, right. What was the druid dude trying to do? Uh, all right. Should we transition to the questions part of the uh, session? <laughs> yeah. So yes, before we do that, how are Tony, we on the thank you so much. Bonus. Let's give a round Yay, of applause Ariel. to our DM. Yay. Thank you, Tony. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Jason, do we need to like close out the episode before we do that? How do you want to do that? All right, uh, so for podcast why, purposes. Why don't you say goodbye and then we'll have uh, we'll have bonus questions bonus somewhere. Show. And, yeah, okay, bonus. and especially if there are people that need to go right. uh, for other things, they can escape. Sure. Um, I only have two so. questions. Oh, okay. Three. Three well, questions. they'll be on it's the live stream slash really. whatever. So. All right. Thank you so much. You have made it to the end of your first Dungeons and Dragons uh, total party kill adventure and your first Dungeons and Dragons adventure ever for some of you. Uh, I hope you had fun. I'm glad you survived. Let me thank each of my uh, my adventures one by one. First off, uh, Jason Sell, you are the one who assembled all of us and made it happen. Thank you, Tony. Thank you for uh, DMing us and taking us through this adventure. Uh, Mike Hurley, I think this was basically all done to try and make you happy. I hope you're okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very happy, Tony. I hope you're happy. <laughs> I'm very happy. Thank you very much. That was everything I could have wanted in a Dungeons and Dragons experience. There were dungeons um, and dragons. Uh, Liz Miles, you had been a listener to Total Party Kill for a long time, and so we had always wanted to drag you along and make you suffer with us. Thank you for being here. Thank you for having me on. It's been really... <laughs> Please let me do more. Yes, absolutely. Uh, James, you were just this guy who made calculators. And now I will always think of you as a dragon, especially because you wore that dragon mask for a while until, <laughs> until it hurt your head too much. Well, James it, Thompson, bring- sorry. <laughs> your full name. I've not only got a giant pile of dice in front of me, um, I've got a giant pile of Lego in another room, mm-hmm. um, which is. You may been need used. more rooms for your apartment. So. Uh, and, and I got a whole uh, extra app out of this experience. <laughs> a as giant well. pile so, of computer dice as well. Yes. So I, I think I've won on every level. So thank mm-hmm. you very much. 
And I, uh, Mike, maybe you can remind me. We were like assembling the party, and we were mm-hmm. trying to come up with we, you know, who are all the people that we know that are in the UK. And I think we had basically like, oh, it's like four people. That's like a solid number to play Dungeons and Dragons with. And then I forget if you asked Jason or if you asked me directly, but you're like, can Tiff and my wife also play? And I was mm-hmm. like, yes. <laughs> uh, and so we gathered more people. Adina, hello. Thank you for playing Dungeons and Dragons with us. Uh, thank you for letting me live my Arya fantasy from Game of Thrones. And, uh, <laughs> so much murder. <laughs> thank you for not killing me. Yeah, I tried. Um, <laughs> you tried. Scythes. <laughs> With that scythe. Yep. And uh, last but not least, not uh, tar- technically part of the United Kingdom, but uh, a hardcore gamer, Tiff. Tiff Arment, thank you for being here. Thank you for so- playing Dungeons and Dragons with us. Oh, thank you so much. I'm so happy my armor class is so high. El Scorcher <laughs> must live on. <laughs> Look at you now talking about how proud you are of your armor class. Remember how skeptical I, you were at the beginning? I can say things like armor class. Yeah, I know. <laughs> and you don't even say it with sarcasm. So, well, this has been another adventure. You know, it, it feels relatively rare that we get to conclude adventures here on Total Party Kill. But we have concluded the adventure of the Sunless Citadel. Perhaps some of these players and some of these characters will return in a future adventure. But that's all for this one. There are no questions left unanswered, <laughs> except for some questions that people are going to ask me after the episode's over. So for answers to questions such as those, I guess listen to the bootleg feed. I don't know. This adventure is done. Yay. 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 We throw our dice in the air. Woo. Uh, all right. I will now, Liz, I'll answer any questions you will have. Um, what was the dude, the druid underneath the citadel actually? What was his plan? And was there any way for us to find out what his plan was? Uh, I think theoretically you could have talked to him more or questioned him more, but he his long-term plan was to plant uh, seeds from his horrible tree everywhere uh, and basically create an army of twig blights that would destroy, uh, certainly take over the citadel, certainly destroy Oakhurst and probably, uh, you know... Tomorrow the world. To, <laughs> tomorrow the world. J- just but for because- funsies? Did yeah, we, I mean, uh, he was he was bad. Um, so when we he had been kind of the the tree, uh, so a Golfias tree. I forget if you knew all this. Um, Golfias, it's the name of the horrible tree is a Golfias tree, which is a tree created uh, by where a vampire is killed. With the the like stake that you drive through a vampire's heart grows into this horrible, evil, twisted tree. Oh, cool. That and I think nice. he was kind of, uh, you know, not probably living underground with with a with a spooky tree for a couple of years gets mm. to you is that that's true okay my- what was behind the ice door and how could we have got through it all right let me find the info about the ice door <laughs> i just need to- you need to know <laughs> um so spoilers for people who might run this adventure so feel free to stop listening at this point but the ice door hold on there are a lot of doors the ice door was uh very securely locked you would probably need to have used a lo- uh, knock spell to open it, which is a somewhat powerful spell that opens any magically um, locked door. But uh, on the plus side, I don't know how much you're missing because beyond that horrible nice ice door was a room full of sarcophagi. And inside those sarcophagi are skeletons that were going to attack you. <laughs> so okay. yeah, so yeah, why figured. was it such a difficult door to open? <laughs> They're so I mean, they were protecting some nice treasure that I won't tell oh, you okay, about okay. and some magic items. But, you know, there was there was going to be some bad stuff to get so, there. So the, okay. the fact. Go on. What about the fountain? The uh, speak uh, like let there be death. I have fountain questions. The dragon fountain. Yeah. Uh, the dragon fountain. Could was we have the one? Could we have uh, enabled the yeah, the one with the box and everything attached to it. And it was a hole. Where was that? Did not you get that one? No, uh, is that was, the one where I got my flasks? Because I kept that was the one it. just next to the was that next to the rat queen next to the rat, rat queen room. Yeah, the black the black foggy Ooh. death thing came out of that one. Right? Sorry, I'm like scrolling yeah. through the book. Yeah, it um, was. We did something wrong and messed it up. And that it, sounds it was, like you. Yeah, <laughs> there was something that I was really persistent at, and so I think you gave me the flasks out of pity. <laughs> <laughs> All right, hold on, I'm reading. Uh, which I will take. I will take pity loot, obviously. Oh, <laughs> that was just that was basically uh, what happened with that. That um, so the the statue had a thing that said "Let there be death." Did you do anything with it? We tried. We did something, and there was a cloud of death. Yep, that's what it does. 
Is that okay. it? Okay. That's it. Uh, that's, that's what it does. You're right. not supposed to touch that one. Yeah. Okay. So, um, um, with are, the, was there uh, any, were there any like cool plot things that we missed? There were a few side rooms with some things. Um, I will just, I'm going to take you back to the uh, other map uh, while we do a tour of things that you missed. Ooh, um, it's me, so it's really sort of if there's, if there's yeah, I I know. Know, plot or world um, building stuff. I, I, I like that stuff. You know, I was surprised there was, it seemed like a, right off of the like main first corridor. Uh, do you see here? There is a room where there was a, uh, like basically a heating system for the dungeon, but it was powered by a uh a, like a little heat, heat demon and a little uh water demon fighting <laughs> and causing steam and it seemed oh. really easy to accidentally stumble in there and get yourself into a very dangerous fight um that didn't happen so good job for that um <laughs> there were some secret passages the big thing you kind of probably missed for time slash just didn't seek it out there was kind of you can see there's part of the map that you haven't been to all on the south part of the dungeon mm-hmm. um the go- the sorry not goblin kobold queen did have the key that was going to get you in there and there was basically an ancient old kind of dragon temple in there with a variety of bad things and exciting things in there so but you, that so was that's kinda, where the key was from that was that was where thing. the key was from okay. and that was that was very much side quest with a capital side like that wasn't going to get <laughs> so, you to where cool. you needed to be cool. but the my fact curiosity we, is satisfied yeah the fact that we killed the uh, tree does mm-hmm. that mean the twig blights they're all dead. The, the ones that were planted, like the seeds from the apples mm-hmm. and all that. Unclear. Mm-hmm. Some of them may grow into uh, Golthias trees on their own. Um, what happens if you make a stake out of a Golthias tree and then stake a vampire and then you that get a one double, grows? double, double Golthias yeah, tree? Well, that's what I was thinking. Ooh. So Watch out. I just revealed the whole map for you. So, <gasps> oh, is there like of... a sequel to this adventure where you have to deal with the there apples? There is not or a direct sequel to this adventure, but there's a variety of. You're, what level are you now? Three, probably. Three. Maybe you're getting up. So, do Maybe we level up? I think probably you should. So I know Dude. you weren't three for very long, but if you, there should be a big bump from completing a quest is how I feel. Cool. So, right. so the next yeah. question level is, four. are we ever going to play again? That is I a good like question. To. We'll have to talk Hopefully. about it. Yeah, we'll have to yeah. talk about it. Scheduling I mean, is always the challenge. It is. I'd be yeah. happy to run more. You all were a fun group. So, uh, And there's I'm, a bunch of stuff in that level four kind of range that you can do your character sheets do get a little bit more complicated you know oh, now you're gonna do it now, then. i think i think i might actually get another cantrip at four. Ooh. yeah you start to but, i mean so, this is the learning curve but, but of D, right is you get more stuff and that means you've got to then yeah, you get up to speed it, of how you manage it stuff. the same thing mm-hmm. happens in computer games yeah it's true and, and like but the thing but the, after reading up about the warlock after i chose my, yeah. my spells and stuff it turns out that the basic spell that you're supposed to get first i kind mm. of skipped for things i thought were fun because they had better names so, that happens so, Tell and like, you know, to... I said none of you ever died, not in a derisive way, but like, guess what? Level one and level two D&D characters are fragile. And like, even if you were really like playing well, like bad, bad luck can happen. And I, I, I nearly die. died in the first. Yeah. Like, remember encounter. rats? Rats almost uh-huh. murdered you. Yeah, but so. you needed to get like, don't you have to get a fail like three times to die? Yeah, yeah but, but that can happen. I failed so. like twice or <laughs> something. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, so there's, Tony, how did we? There's a record, Liz. So. <laughs> how did we do? Like, as like you know, I think you ran this very well. But how did we do as players? Did we, I think like, really good. So you know, the rules are cumbersome at times, but you all jumped into the like the storytelling part of it really well. I feel like the and it's the episode that we like just released on the feed is the episode where you guys talked your way past the, the goblins. Yeah, that's the, that's, like that was, that so was like I feel like a tur- that was like a turning point for you all in terms of like what what are we doing here right which well, is that we're like we're ridiculous and like you are also a group that's not bloodthirsty right uh dungeon masters sometimes refer to some players are uh they're called derisively murder hobos which is like we don't care about these people let's just kill them and, and move on we are capable of killing people so if these if these people are not capable of killing us. We're just, they're in our way. So kill them and move mm-hmm. on. That is no, not your uh, style of we, play. We were more about social change. Yes. And- yes. <laughs> yep. So, yeah. uh, which is, you know, it's, it's just fun. And there were still, there were fights. There were situations you can only get your way out of with combat and magic and stuff. But uh, I appreciated, you know, especially uh, the kobolds are not a super hostile group of people. Um, you know, I think the adventure leaves pretty open what you would do with uh, Meepo. I don't think it expected that you would, uh, 
befriend Meepo and bring him with you the whole way. And definitely I made some decisions about what was going to happen. <laughs> Not, you know, the adventure mm-hmm. basically as written ends with you fight the tree and then it's like you go home. And I was like, no, there's going to be fallout from that. There's going to be they the have, Meepo wrap up. That's, they've they've done some things touched. along the way that will have conclusions. So I felt very attached to Meepo. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I really did want him to die. I would have been very upset. Uh, and, you know, I don't know what the next adventure might be, but it feels like Meepo's got to come back in some at least, yeah. at least he's writing you some letters or something, right? <laughs> yep. So, yeah. dear adventurers, I need some help. All right, everybody, I mean, we gotta run. Yeah, all right. thank you so Thanks. much. All right. Okay. all right, thank you Bye. again, Tony. Thanks yeah. everybody. Bye. That was fun. Thank you. Thank I'll you. I'll turn all. off the live streams now. Thank you. Yep. Bye. Bye. Bye.